I mean, this is an 82-year-old man, and we helped him unearth the remains of two of his daughters and his granddaughter, who was 18 months old and had been murdered 30 years earlier. Um, and I mean, his, it was not a closed wound. It was very much an open wound. And in digging up those remains, he was trying to give, give his family members a dignified burial. At first, like, you know, we didn't know if we were going to find anything. Nobody knew if they would actually find the remains. Oh, my God. There it is. They found, they found the cloth. Ahí está. Ahí está. Esto para nosotros es la, la importancia del trabajo de la exhumación, la importancia de recuperarlos y también como, como seres humanos tenemos ese deber y ese derecho de tener una digna sepultura. Sí, y para nosotros, o sea, no importa el tiempo que haya transcurrido, no importa los años, sino que lo importante para nosotros es hacer ese encuentro con nuestros familiares, es reencontrarnos, no importa, aunque solo es un pedacito de su pertenencia que, que, que localizamos, pero eso nos hace sentir de que sí realmente el saber de que ellos ahí terminaron sus vidas, ahí los asesinaron y, y entonces nosotros podemos uh, dignificar la memoria de ellos, pero el saber la realidad de ellos, esa es la gran importancia para nosotros este trabajo. Algunos que son sobrevivientes lo vieron adelante de ellos fue torturado, fue golpeado. Pues. Al ver de nuevo, entonces se choca. Entonces ya después ellos también se, se enfermaron y se murieron. Muchos ya se han muerto. Um, I'm a lab assistant, um, so I analyze my own cases. Um, they find out as much as they can, and including anything about, you know, did this person have broken teeth? Did this person ever break a bone? Um, because those are the types of things that you can actually see. And what you're going to see are, you're going to see bodies, but they're all skeletonized, so it's lots of bones. But it's very interesting, but be prepared for that, just kind of mentally. No solo hay un corte, tenemos varios cortes. Tenemos un corte en esta región. Luego tenemos otro corte en este punto. Tenemos otro corte aquí. Y luego este corte y el que tenemos aquí abajo. Es decir, que la persona recibió más de tres machetazos, digamos, con el instrumento que, la, que le hicieron las lesiones.
Por otro lado, vamos a ver que tenemos lesiones en, en el brazo. Uh, we also have, um, wounds, uh, uh, on the arms. Esto nos demuestra que la persona trató de defenderse. This shows that this person tried to defend ¿Sí? Antes de que le hicieran los cortes en la cabeza, él puso el brazo, hizo esto. Y el resultado es esto. Aquí vamos a tener otro corte. Sí, sí lo pueden. Sí. He said he every time he's working on a child's bones, he's thinking of his own children. There were a lot of children. Um, and I think what, what Anita said that really resonated with me was that these aren't, you know, soldiers. These aren't child soldiers. Like, these are babies. Like, this is, like, we saw, you know, the remains of a fetus from a pregnant woman. And these people weren't part of um, the guerrilla movement. This wasn't a war just between two sides. This was a genocide. I personally had, a, you know, I didn't want to touch the bones. When Jen would pick up a skull and, you know, or, or a bone and show where it was on the human body, on her own body, um, it was really difficult. I held a skull that was smashed repeatedly by a machete. And at first, I was so overwhelmed. I had, like, just touched hell. I felt stained. And then, um, I realized, like, it's not about me touching hell. This fucking happened. Whether I touched it or not, and it continues to happen. 